Pride events have kicked off in the city, and for the first time since the pandemic, people are looking forward to a month full of in-person celebrations. And one of the first Pride events was a flag raising at Queensborough Hall. Briella Tomasetti was there. And I call it pride, a deep love pride. Pride Month kicking off in Kew Gardens, Queens. For the second year in a row, two pride flags are flying proudly for all to see at Borough Hall. P R I D E Pride. Let's give it up. Queens is pride. Simple as that. Come every June, hoisting rainbow flags is a labor of love, especially for those who call this community home. Pride is a celebration. Pride is a march for our rights. Pride is visibility. I'm super excited about it, and it's just, just to see all the faces. But pride takes on an even more significant meaning this year. Organizations are aiming to be more inclusive and open their eyes to inequalities highlighted by the pandemic and the Black Lives Matter movement. I think pride is an opportunity to stand with people when they can't stand for themselves. After two years of cancellations, downsizing, and even going virtual due to COVID-19, hundreds of celebrations are once again hitting the streets in full force, including the highly anticipated New York City Pride March. But if you can't make it there, many more in-person gatherings are scheduled all month long. What you can look forward to is um, youth pride at Central Park Summer Stage this year. Um, we're coming back fully with our street festival, Pride Fest, so that's going to be happening. This year marks the 30th anniversary of Queen's Pride, and what better way to celebrate than with a parade along 37th Avenue in Jackson Heights? Around 50,000 people are expected to attend. Reporting in Kew Gardens, Briella Tomasetti, Fox 5 News.